is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2025 lexus nx 350 courtesy of bobby ray hall lexus in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because i personally do like the styling of the nx there are some new colors for 2025 so i'll be touching on those in the video of course and the nx does compete with the bmw WX2, Mercedes-Benz GLB, and the Volvo XC40, just to name a few. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one, from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the 2025 NX350. First one, you got the base configuration, starting at 45,525, Premium for $47,450, the F Sport for $50,135, and lastly, the Luxury being the one we are in today, starting at $51,590. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the NX350 is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 275 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 317 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,700 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time approximately 6.6 .6 seconds that's plenty respectable there top speed 124 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 21 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the nx 350 i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a circular dial located just in front of the shifter drive modes are going to include eco normal and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the all-wheel drive system engagement actually as well so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right so one thing before we do this paddle shifter test guys i do have a sport driving mode there is a full manual shift mode believe it or not so you just press the shifter all the way to the back and uh it's not shifting for me so that's pretty cool so i'm in first gear in three two one go they're not bad i mean there's a slight delay don't get me wrong but they're not bad they're not the slowest i've ever tested not lightning quick like porsche or mercedes-benz amg or anything like that but they're not bad and like i said it's still not shifting it's just holding fourth gear so i absolutely love that there is a full manual shift mode in the nx350 that's very rare to find in suvs so anyways you could just give back full control of the car then by just simply pressing the shifter back into the left and uh then the nx350 takes over full control again so that's a pretty cool little thing and the cool thing about paddle shifters too is if it were to be snowing out if you're going down a hill you can actually use the paddle shifters here to do a little bit of engine braking rather than actually hitting the brakes so you're less likely to actually slide off the road there so good for two reasons i suppose so now let's go ahead and find one more straightaway now having give back full control to the nx let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right found our straightaway in three two one go It's okay. It's not that bad. There was a slight delay at the very beginning, perhaps because it's a turbocharged four cylinder, but it's certainly enough to march you onto the highway. You're not gonna have any issues there. So I don't have any issues with that. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So four wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard. Let me go ahead and take it out of sport driving mode. And uh, 60 zero stopping distance comes in at 124 feet. That's pretty much on par for the course. It's not like a sports sedan number, but it's not on the high side either. It's pretty much right dead in the middle. It's where you wanna be with an SUV. As far as braking feel goes, it's great. It's actually a little bit on the firmer side of things. It's actually not a soft braking feel, which is traditionally what you find in most other SUVs out there. So I think Lexus did a wonderful job with the braking feel here in the NX. I don't have any problems with that. Then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent double wishbone type rear suspension gas pressurized shock absorbers front and rear stabilizer bars but if you were to go with that f sport that we do not have today you will also get an adaptive damping suspension and so 
that's the one that I always like because that monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smooth ride, but it also tightens up that suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. See, I always like to recommend that one for that particular reason. So it's most noticeable in the ride quality, really. That's why I always notice at least. But as far as ride quality goes in our non-adaptive damping suspension that we have today, Lexus did a wonderful job with tuning the suspension. It's absorbing Pennsylvania's road imperfections perfectly fine. So definitely don't have any issues there. Let me actually turn the uh, air down a little bit here because it is hot out today. Uh, as far as cabin noise goes, it's, uh, it's actually been perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with any road noise or wind noise at all coming into the cabin. So that is pretty cool. One thing I did not mention yet, when it comes to steering feel, it is adjustable. I don't think I mentioned with the drive modes, it adjusts the steering feel as well. When I turn it into that sport driving mode, it is a noticeable heavier steering feel than otherwise in the normal or eco driving mode. So if you want that heavier feel, gives you more feeling of being in control. It really is a really nice steering feel in that sport driving mode. Go with that one. But if you don't, if you want a looser feel, put it in the normal driving mode. So it's something for everybody, but it really feels nice in that sport driving mode. I'll definitely say that. Touching our rear visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back and uh, definitely shouldn't have any issues there. Did want to also mention though, rain sensing windshield wipers are going to come on the premium and luxury trim level. So it's gonna detect any kind of mist or rainfall and automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you there. And another thing, although you can't really see it with sunglasses, of course, there is a there is a um, head up display I'm looking at right now. So it's telling me my speed, speed limit, and then safety features on the right hand side there. Um, so that's gonna help with forward visibility yet again. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 Lexus NX350. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2025 Lexus NX350 finished in eminent white pearl. In case you were curious to the exact exterior color name of this one however there is a new color like i said for 2025 that new color's name is copper crest it's kind of like a burnt orange kind of thing i guess if i were to describe it but anyways let's go ahead and start with where this one is made taking a look at the bin first character is the number two indicating that the new nx350 is built and assembled in canada a eh? starting up front though dark front grille with added dark accents for the f sport metallic front grille is going to come standard however you do get front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination to the bottom corners there to the sides then led headlights with led daytime running lights of course do you get the automatic feature along with automatic high beams then as well led fog lights down there to the bottom corners you gotta love that and then led triple beam headlights that's an 850 dollar option we got that you guys can see that so a little added illumination at night there and if you were to go with the luxury leg we got today you also get an adaptive front lighting system that's a safety feature you guys because when you're going around a bend at night those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit sasquatch or an alien or a a gnome or a troll or whatever the case so that is pretty darn cool i do like that but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of the nx let's now go ahead and swing around to the side all right so but now since we are around to the side of this one all the way to the top there roof rails do come standard they come standard in silver by the way however if you were to go with that f sport they will be finished in a gloss black chrome window surrounds do come standard as well along with rear privacy glass then taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turret signals they are auto dimming and you do get the reverse gear tilt down feature as well so you don't go running over any bikes or skateboards or whatever the case you do also get door courtesy lights though with the luxury like we have today so i can't show that to you guys because it's bright and sunny out today but if it were to be night out that is going to project led lighting down to the ground so you're less likely to step in a puddle or whatever the case F Sport badging found on the front fenders for the F Sport trim, of course, and then taking a look at the wheel setup, 18 inch 15 spoke alloys do come standard and then 20 inch alloys coming with the F Sport. But again, good looking side profile. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the NX, all the way to the top, body colored shark fin antenna, just below that rear spoiler, just below that rear window wiper, you do have LED taillights coming standard as well. And they look dang good on the NX, I will say that. Just below the taillights, you got the Lexus lettering spelled out horizontally, of course, and just below all of it, dual exhaust outlets. However, they are tucked away. I think it would have looked a lot better if they exposed them into the rear bumper or something, but anyway, 
anyways I digress dual exhaust outlets tucked away so having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip Alright, so but now since we are around to the back of the NX, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a hands-free power tailgate for the premium and luxury trim levels. However, power tailgate is available as an option for $400. It's a standalone option, I should say, if you wanted that. But there is a button on the key fob, there's a button on the tailgate itself then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 22.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, you can fold those rear seats down, bumping that up to 46.9 cubic feet. There's a power folding second row that goes for $1,030. We got that, so those buttons are located in the cargo area, so that was pretty darn convenient. But chrome plated tie down anchors back there, you got some cargo lighting, of course, you got grocery bag hooks, you have a cargo cover, and this is the best part if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're not going to find one but two compartments of in floor storage. So typically, you find one compartment of in floor storage or a spare tire or a tire inflator kit, but you got two compartments in the NX, so that's pretty darn cold but then make your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 36 inches even for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard rear ventilation also coming standard you got dual rear usb charging ports gotta love that but you also have a 12 volt power outlet coming standard back there as well heated rear seats are available we got those today so you could spoil the rear passengers a little bit there really the only thing missing at least in our top luxury trim level i would think would be some rear window sunshades because i got kids and if they're back there and we're going to chick-fil-a and we're sitting in a parking lot eating it before going somewhere else rear window sunshades definitely help out with the sun not blinding them i'm just saying then make your way up to the front seats eight-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar coming standard eight-way power adjustable passenger seat then as well 10-way power adjustable driver's seat for the f sport and luxury new luxe seating coming standard perforated leather with enhanced bolstering for that f sport trim level of course heated front seats coming standard but then ventilated front seats coming with the premium and luxury i've had those ventilated seats on this whole time today and they are wonderful because it's hot today so i'm definitely a big fan of that as far as seat comfort goes it's perfectly fine typically toyota and lexus always crush it with their seat comfort but i'm telling you guys those f sport seats traditionally are my favorite out of all the other test drives that i traditionally do they just hug you in place they're so dang comfortable so big fan of those but by the way there is a new interior color i wanted to mention to you guys called macadamia so anyways then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it is power adjustable for the premium and luxury trim levels and then if you wanted the heated steering wheel that goes for an additional 250 dollars but then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key you got your lexus logo on the one side when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear tailgate there pretty cool design to the key nice weight to it and it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is to put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of that infotainment screen so then once started up gauge cluster it is a digital gauge cluster it looks dang good and of course when you adjust the drive modes the colors on those gauges are going to adjust as well for example if you put it in sport gauges are going to turn red if you put it in eco those gauges are blue and in normal driving mode they are gray but you got your engine temp on the left along with your outside temperature to the right you got your fuel information along with how many miles you have left until you hit empty and then your digital speedometer and tachometer is front and center and of course there are buttons on the steering wheel where you can adjust different things within that as well so overall gauges look fine to me but then making our way to overall interior quality a power moonroof goes for eleven hundred dollars but get this panorama glass roof that goes for five hundred dollars it's always funny to me that the larger moonroof is less expensive than the smaller just regular moonroof so anywho overhead sunglass holder does come standard i like seeing that auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls for up to three different garage doors that's pretty cool as well dual zone climate control does come standard so both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures there aluminum foot pedals coming with the f sport only wireless phone charger that one goes for 450 dollars that's located just in front of the shifter and since 
since we're there, there's a little bit of storage up there. You got a couple USB charging ports. And uh, if you move that wireless phone charger forward, you actually have even more storage with a 12 volt power outlet and a couple USB charging ports there as well. Then just behind all of that, you got a couple cup holders and within the center armrest, it's actually a decent amount of space in there. So I think everything's laid out pretty darn nicely. And uh, I like the finishes too. You got the gloss black finish surrounding the shifter and a nice kind of a silver bronze design surrounding the cup holders there. You have this kind of matte wood look trim found on the doors there and even the speaker covers, the Mark Levinson speaker covers. And yes, we're gonna test out that sound system in a second here, but it's got a very cool design to it. And since it's the NX, I think they pioneered this on the NX, this feature, but it's the electric door handles. It's always kind of neat. So you just press it in and uh, it's going to open up for you rather than an actual door handle itself. So kind of different, kind of cool. I kind of like it. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. So a 9.8 inch color touchscreen display is going to come standard. However, you're going to get a massive 14 inch color touchscreen display with the luxury trim that we have today. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard either way. And Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system is gonna come on that larger screen that we have today. You can check out your climate control settings up there. I see the heated steering wheel button up there as well. You can also check out some of your vehicle statistics up there if you wanted to, along with your radio information. Here it is, you guys. 10 speakers coming standard. However, there is an optional 17 speaker Mark Levinson surround sound system that goes for $2,225. It's a good bit, but it does come with 1800 watts. That's a good bit too. So having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one. That's pretty crazy. That is a crazy sound system. I think what impressed me the most about that was the ridiculous clarity. If you take 17 speakers and put them in the vehicle the size of the NX, you're gonna get so much overkill in the best possible way. That's an incredible sound system for this one. And like I said, bass was fine, but it was really the clarity and that 1800 watts so loud that really impressed me with this one but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the nx in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board you also get that um, panoramic view monitor for an additional 1070 dollars if you wanted to go that route giving you that bird's eye view which is always is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats rear child door locks top pressure monitoring system that's all boring but also coming standard Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0. That gives you dynamic radar cruise control, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the NX350, excellent sound systems. I do remember testing the 10 speaker sound system maybe a year or two ago, and I think that sounded perfectly fine as well. And again, 10 speakers is perfectly fine. Mark Levinson is just really, really good. That's all I'm going to say. Also, Lexus and Toyota, of course, have a reputation for incredible reliability. I'm sure the NX is going to continue on with that reputation there. Excellent safety with this one as well. You can't beat an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Uh, as far as room for improvement goes, I'll give you two things. I think ambient lighting would look pretty darn good in the NX. A lot of the competition will give you ambient lighting like Mercedes-Benz, like BMW. Heck, even Genesis will give you ambient lighting as well. Now, the other thing is, I think at least on our luxury trim level today, I think rear window sunshades would be a nice addition back there. Um, because if you got kids, you know they definitely come in handy. I'm just saying. But let me know what you guys think of the NX in the comment section below. That's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.